Now uh, we are going to prove a very interesting result and the result says that every non-zero element of a finite commutative ring with unity is either a unit or a zero divisor. Now we already know what exactly unit is. Unit is nothing but what? Non-zero elements of a ring whose inverse exists with respect to multiplication and what is a zero divisor? A non-zero element A of a commutative ring R is said to be a zero divisor if we are able to find a non-zero element in a ring R such that uh, the product of A with that element is equal to zero. Now uh, let us begin directly uh, with the proof. So first of all I will take one commutative ring with unity. Remember the ring should be finite as well. So we will start with a finite commutative ring with unity. So I will say let and let us take one non-zero element of this ring because what is asked in the question every non-zero element of a finite commutative ring is either a unit or is either a zero divisor. So I will start with a non-zero element of this ring and we will show that it is either a unit or a zero divisor. We are calling this non-zero element as A. Now we have to show it is either a unit or a zero divisor. So in order to prove that we are going to consider one set. So I will say consider. So we have considered a set, set of all A R such that R belongs to R. Now let us try to understand this set first of all. Uh, let us say uh, we are in Z6, the elements are 0 bar up to 5 bar. So what will be the set? 2 bar multiplied by R such that R belongs to Z6. So one by one we will put the value of R. Remember R varies in Z6. So we will start with the value of R as 0 bar and we will go up to 5 bar. So if you put R is equal to 0 bar, so 2 bar multiplied by 0 bar will be 0 bar. Next we will put R bar is equal to, sorry R is equal to 1 bar that is 2 bar into 1 bar, then we will have 2 bar into 2 bar, then we will have 2 bar into 3 bar. This will be continued up to what? 2 bar into 4 bar and finally 2 bar into 5 bar. That is what we will have. So if you solve this, so first element will be 0 bar. What is 2 bar multiplied by 1 bar? 2 bar. 2 multiplied by 2? 4 bar. What is 2 bar multiplied by 3 bar? 6 bar. But remember 6 bar in Z6 is 0 bar and it is already written in the set. So we will not write it again. Next 2 bar into 4 bar will be 8 bar. But in Z6 8 bar is 2 bar and it is already written. So we will not write it again. And 2 bar multiplied by 5 bar is 10 bar. But in Z6 10 bar is nothing but 4 bar. So it is also written. So we will not write it again. So that's it. So this is our set S for element 2 bar as you can say. So similarly we have chosen one non-zero element of R and we are considering the set AR such that R belongs to R. Now see there are two possibilities. Either S will be equal to the entire ring R or S will be proper subset of R because in S actually we are having elements of the ring only right. So there are only two possibilities. Either the set S will be directly equal to R or S will be a proper subset of R. In this case what we got S is a proper subset of Z6 because in S we are having 0, 2 and 4 only and in Z6 naturally all the elements are there from 0 to 5 bar. Now let us consider the first case. So if let us say this happens S is equal to R then what can you say? Now we already know that our ring R contains a unity right. So 1 the notation that we use for unity is 1. So 1 is already there in R but R is exactly equal to S. So 1 will go in S as well. So what we will say as 1 belongs to R therefore 1 also belongs to S therefore how can you write this 1? Now since S is a collection of AR so how can you write 1? 1 can be written as AR for some R belongs to R isn't it? But it is a commutative ring 
So what does it imply? This is same as 1 is equal to a r which is equal to r a for some r belongs to r and why this is true since r is commutative. Do you see this is actually nothing but what? What we have shown? So we have found out the element r such that the multiplication of a with r is actually the unit a. So in other words we have shown that a inverse exists with respect to multiplication that is nothing but what a is a unit. So I will say this implies a is a unit. Now what we have shown is a is a unit. Now we have to show that a is a zero divisor. Are you getting the proof now? Because we wanted to show that a is either a unit or a zero divisor. So if s is equal to r, then we have shown that a is a unit. Now if s is a proper subset of r, naturally what we are going to show? We are going to show that a is a zero divisor. So I will say here, if s is a subset of proper subset of r, naturally not subset. If s is a proper subset of r, now let us see what happens. As shown over here in this example, here s is a proper subset of z6. Why this is happening? Because there is repetition. What do you mean by repetition? As you can see, this is actually nothing but what? 2 bar multiplied by 0 bar, right? So what is the repetition? So 2 bar multiplied by 0 bar is 0 bar. 2 bar multiplied by 3 bar is 6 bar, which is again 0 bar. So there is a repetition. Value of this is also 0 bar. Value of this is also 0 bar. Here as well, this is 2 bar. The value of this is also 2 bar. So again, there is a repetition. Okay. This is 4 bar. Value of this is also 4 bar. So there is a repetition. So due to this repetition, what has happened? S is a subset of Z6 proper subset of z6. Now since here s is a proper subset of r, what will happen? The similar repetition will happen. Okay. So what you can say, there will exist r1 and r2 which are not equal. This is very important. There will exist r1 and r2 belonging to r which is not equal such that this a multiplied by r1 will be equal to a multiplied by r2. Right. So what I will say, then there exist R1 not equal to R2 belonging to R such that what will happen? A R1 will be equal to A R2. Now simple calculations. So this implies A R1 minus A R2 is actually equal to 0. This implies multiplication distributes over addition property a into r1 minus r2 is equal to 0. But remember a is a 0 divisor. Any non-zero element of a finite commutative ring r with unity is either a unit or a 0 divisor.